we're gonna do something different today a slightly more serious video no goofing around so you see what the the condition we're in in the western world right now is uh it's not just happening by chance all these have been planned you know you don't see men now arguing about what gender can menstruate whether gen whether menstruation is exclusively for females or males you didn't have all that nonsense stupid mentally ill conversations in a functioning society this society is being destroyed on purpose because now that they're rebuilt like the phoenix rising out of the ashes you have to destroy the old out with the old in with the new so after they destroy the old ways, then they can rebuild the civilization in their image, how they want. Calm down, Rosie. My cat. And if, and if you want to know how they're going to rebuild the civilization after they destroy this one, you have to look into their way of life as in their religion, the religion of the elites. The influencers, when I say influencers, I mean like the original influencers, the celebrities, the elites, people in power, people at the, uh, people at the top of the pyramid. Rosie. Their religion is not Christianity, it's not Islam, it's not, nah. They follow the doctrine of Telima. And the people at the top, these elites, they want to mold the civilization how they want. And if you think they're going to mold it in a more positive way, you, you'd be wrong. Because negative for you is positive to them. Because they're not Christians. They're not Muslims. They follow a doctrine called Thelema. Right? Thelema is a, it's, it's, it's a mantra of Alistair Crowley, the protege of Madame Lebowski. Thelema means do what thou will, as in do what you like. If you look at, a, at, our, at the society today, right? They always say, oh, just let them do what they want. They're not hurting anybody. Let them just do what they like. You want to dress like a, you want to identify as a baby, a full grown man want to identify as a baby. You want to walk around with a skirt. Just do what you want. Do what that will. You can't have a functioning society, community, a civilization on the Alistair Crowley's doctrine. It's not going to work. You see, just me just saying that name, I'm pretty much demonetized, right? <laughs> This video is pretty much the monetized. They don't want nobody talking about this stuff. That's the doctrine. That's the mantra. So they're going to destroy the old ways that our things our ancestors have built. It's taking them hundreds of years to build. The civilization is taking them hundreds of years to build. These far leftist lunatics are going to destroy it in, in just a couple of years. I said they destroy it. Then, these trillionaires and billionaires are going to rebuild it how they want it. They want to rebuild a civilization where calling uh, a pedophile person, if you call them that, you'd be shamed for that. You have to call them minor attracted persons now. I'm not making this. You can you can you can research all this. This is what's going on now. This is how they want to rebuild the common society. So when I see a lot of the things going on, it's not just happening organically. These are being orchestrated. I just sit back and I just shake my head because I'm like, people don't know. They don't know the religion and the way of life of these people that are in power. When you understand their religion, then you, you, you have like an epiphany like, wow, now it's starting to make sense. There's a reason why they're not they, decriminalizing criminals. You commit a crime and the next day you're back out on the street. Because they're being used to destroy the society. We're going to watch a couple of videos and you see what I'm talking about. What do you look for in a man? Oh, I can bear almost anything as long as he has clean teeth. I look for kindness and sincerity most of all. I oh. think personality, warmth and affection for children are the main things. <laughs> I don't know, really. physique, interest. Do you think looks are important? Sometimes it all depends on the man. What about money? Money is not important. Would you marry an ugly man? I've married one. What's your craziest confession? I, this guy's 
20 minutes after I f***ed his best friend. Okay. I f***ed three dudes in one night, and it was the Natty Championship of um, UGA. I beg your pardon? The third one actually ate the second one's come out of my f***, so that was funny. Hey, yo, what the f***? They both f***ed me. Where's your dad? Where's your mom? boyfriend with a guy he told me that I told him not to worry about. I Should he have any control over what you wear when you go out? Oh hell no. 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 Why do you look funny? A nation cannot rise any higher than the moral standards of its women. Where are we heading as a society when our women just are so promiscuous, so careless, so disrespectful, don't have any value People don't really know, understand how important women are, how valuable, how precious, how vital women are to the building of a civilization, of a community. Women pretty much mold the minds of the next generation. They hold the key to the next generation. That's why that's saying a nation cannot rise any higher than the moral standards of, the, of its women. Because women are the first teachers of the children, are the most important teachers of the children. There's things my mom taught me when I was a kid. That now that I'm a grown ass man still resonates with me. Like some, I can't do some things right now because I'm I'm afraid my mom is gonna pop out of the corner and just smack me like what are you doing? And they instill discipline uh, virtuous woman will instill discipline, respect, character in her child. Girls nowadays are just doing stuff for clout. They do not even know or think that the, in the internet is it's forever. Whatever you do, your kids, your grandkids later on can just, on their phones or on their Neuralink or whatever, can just search mama and papa and there you go. Talking about all this sexual proclivities online. No self-respect because everything has been turned upside down. They think being promiscuous, exposing themselves, is self-respect. This is madness, but again, this is what people at the top of the pyramid want. They want to destroy and then rebuild. I should have worn my tinfoil hat today. Watch. There's, there's, this, <laughs> this is another one. You just watch this, right? When you decriminalize criminals, when you don't punish crime, crime is going to soar. This is not rocket science, man. I'm not saying anything profound right now. This is just common sense. But then again, there is a reason why all this is allowed to happen. Let's take a look at California. <laughs> They're just walking in, packing boxes of stuff and just walking out. Look, they're just walking out. No wonder a bunch of shops are closing down in this democratic uh, run state. Look at that. They just go in, take whatever they want, just walk right out. Because the police don't do nothing. They just let them do whatever they want. Signs of a failing society. Look at this. How can, business, how can a business survive like this? Look, 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 look. look at that. You're just going into shops, designer shops, packing things, and just walking out. Oh my god, the store is empty! Yep, the store is empty. What you <laughs> voted for. So enjoy. Enjoy a leftist utopia. Now watch this other video. Tell me we're not in trouble. Just tell me we're not in trouble, man. Transgender boys who might not have their own money to go buy tampons. If they're provided free in the bathroom, it's it's a huge plus. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now you can call yourself men whatever you don't want. Menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. No, Same they as don't. Non-binary people. Only women. Menstruating is not exclusive. Look at that one's eyes. That's the eyes of a crazy person right there. Yes, it is. Women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why my body if you are, at If your chromosomes are XX and you're young, you menstruate. You if you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non-binary? They're not men. They're a whole group of they're, people They're women dressed menstruate. as men. You are not a man. You can pretend to be a man, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Live your life. <laughs> Tell me what a man is. 
Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the the the, the science of this as an the example? Science. When when we've learned sex and gender identity are two very they're completely different things. They're not completely. different They are things. completely different. They're completely different words. And sex is what you're born with. The sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're completely different Well, I don't accept things. that distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're you're just making it up. For a reason, all these are happening for a reason. That's an old man. That's a grown ass old man walking around in a tutu. Look at that. Look at that. And people are going to say, yo, he's not doing nothing. It's not hurting anybody. Just let him do what he wants. No. In a functioning society, you can't let people just do whatever they want. There are rules. Rules and regulations, rule of law, do, do's and don'ts. Let everyone do whatever they want. Your society is going to collapse. The society cannot function on do what thou wilt. On Thelema doctrine, it cannot. Look at that. Look at that. That's a gigantic man. That's a gigantic, that's a six foot, probably six foot four grown ass man. Walking around with a BBL, with, with a, a fake big injected bot. And this is a this is a, a serious society. And you want the rest of the world to take this society seriously? You think we can go around telling people how to live their life? Like we're the prime example of uh functioning sound society? Does this look like a sound society to you? Grown ass man. Grown ass man. Look at that. A grown ass man. Look. Look at that. Oh, let them do what they want. They're not hurting anybody. Just let them do what they want. Let them be. Let everybody just do whatever it is they want. Well, you've seen the results all around you. It seemed like it seemed like everyone is allowed to do what they want, apart from certain people. Now let's see. Well, for example, if you're a straight white male, you you, know, nah, you can't do it. If you're a Christian, you can't do it. What? Do what you want? Nah. Watch. Police have told the owner of a Christian cafe in Blackpool to stop displaying Bible verses on a TV screen because it's offensive and a crime. Jamie Murray says he was shocked when officers from Lancashire Police visited his cafe last Monday and ordered him to stop displaying the Bible text. Just uh, felt like a bit of an interrogation. They uh, told me I was in breach of Section 5 uh, of a public order offence by um, display material that could be deemed offensive um, to somebody, insulting or offensive. It, it disturbs me actually that we are approaching a state where people can be um, spoken to by the police, uh, possibly arrested, and who knows what else. Just they even had to blur his face and blur the video for his protection. Did he commit any crime? Nah. He's <laughs> just being a Christian. That's a crime now or uh, displaying the Bible in public. What's next? People coming, police coming into churches and saying you can't say this or that. The cafe is called Salt and Light, a quote from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. Christian leaflets are available in the cafe, which also has links with a local church. Mr. Murray plays this set of DVDs on a TV screen with the volume turned down. It's a narration of the whole of the New Testament, with the text of the Bible appearing on the screen. But the police said a customer had complained that the Bible verses were homophobic. The officers told Mr. Murray that the Bible video breaches Section 5 of the Public Order Act. This is the end. <laughs>